Okay, so now we are in uh, chapter 9, Kinetic Theory of Gases and Thermodynamics. Uh, okay, so we will learn uh, about uh, these uh, gases, lah, yeah? uh, kinetic theory of gas, yeah, the temperature of the gas and uh, thermodynamics. Okay, uh, I'm sure that uh, you see this equation before, PV equal to nRT, right? In, maybe in your, what subjects do you see this uh, equation? And yeah, chemistry, right? Yes, sir. Ah, do you, do you learn this equation in your chemistry subjects? Yes, sir. Yes, yes yeah. sir. Yeah, PV and RT. Yes, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, so uh, uh, here we will uh, revise uh, this uh, this uh, equation again. Okay, so um, yeah. So uh, four variables used to describe gases. Yeah. So when we talk about gases, uh, we want to know the amount of gas. Yeah, the amount of gas. So we will need to know the number of moles. Uh, N is the number of moles. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, pressure. Yeah, pressure of the gas. P, capital P. Volume and temperature. Uh, temperature of gas, volume of gas, pressure of gas. So... Um, Okay, amount. So, uh, pressure, you have two units, atmospheric pressure or Pascal. Uh, volume, you can maybe in uh, in unit of liter or meter cube. Okay, uh, temperature, SI unit is in Kelvin. Okay, I will, I will uh, summarize this uh, later on. Okay, um, uh, this is just a quick look through. So, PV and equal to NRT. Yeah, a very famous formula. Uh, so as you can see, all the quantities just now mentioned, pressure, volume, temperature. Yeah, pressure, volume, temperature. And also the amount of gas, number of mole, N. Uh, N. Okay. Um, and then we also have another formula, PV equal to NKT. Uh, so what's the difference between these two formula? Maybe I, uh, I, I will write over here. Okay, and show you. Um, so now we we are going to learn about uh, in chapter nine. Okay, uh, kinetic theory of gases and uh, thermodynamics. Okay, but uh, our focus today is only the first part. Yeah, kinetic theory of gases. Okay, so the formula, the important formula in this part is, uh, we know is PV equal to nRT. Okay, uh, so uh, talking about this uh, unit, uh, 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 talking about the unit, uh, let me, okay, talking about the units. Okay, let's talk about pressure first, yeah, one by one. Yeah, let's talk about pressure. Pressure has two kind of unit. Yeah, uh, it has two kind of unit. Uh, atmospheric pressure. Uh, but okay, class. We our focus is on SI unit. Uh, all right. Our focus is on SI unit. So maybe okay, I should put it this way. Uh, our focus is on SI unit. Okay. So. Uh, what's the unit for pressure? SI unit. Anyone class? Okay, uh, okay, then, uh, let me. Yeah? Pressure, pressure. ATA? No, pressure is Pascal. Ah, so a little bit different from your chemistry. Your chemistry use ATM, right? Atmospheric pressure. Uh, but in physics, we follow SI unit. So here I want to specifically men, uh, mention the difference between your our physics subjects and chemistry subjects. Your chemistry use different unit from physics. Okay, physics stick to SI unit. Yeah, physics stick, sticks to SI unit. So we use Pascal instead of ATM. Ah, that's why today lesson you must enter. 
Yeah, everybody here already. Let me see. Yeah, is everybody here? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, okay. Uh, volume. Your chemistry use dm cube, isn't it? Dm cube. Uh, but our physics stick to meter cube. Uh, physics stick to meter cube. Okay. Uh, so be careful. Yeah. And then thirdly, temperature. Uh, temperature. We you stick to SI unit Kelvin. Uh, all these are all these are SI unit. Yeah, physics stick to SI unit. Uh, and then um, we also have the number of moles. Yeah, uh, but uh, basically this is the uh, these are the unit. Okay, um, just now talking about ATM. Okay, talking about ATM. Let me write out. Okay, one atmospheric pressure, yeah, is also unit of pressure. Okay, one atmospheric pressure is actually 1.015, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, oh, 103, <laughs> sorry, 013, yeah, okay. 013 exponent 5 Pascal. Uh, if the question gives you in unit of atmospheric pressure, then you need to uh, multiply by 1.0153 exponent 5 Pascal. Change to Pascal. Huh? Remember, change to Pascal. And then volume. Okay, volume. Talking about volume. Uh, you have several units of volume. Yeah, you can have several units of volume. For example, um, talking about volume. Yeah, talking about volume. So um, we know that one liter. One liter is, um, yeah, one per liter is 1000 ml. Okay. Uh, other than that, one liter is also 1 dm cube. Correct, class? Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and then 1 ml actually is 1 cm cube. Correct, not? Yeah, uh, this one uh, you can remember lah. One liter is one dm cube. Yeah, and then uh, one liter is also if you because we want to convert to SI unit meter cube. So uh, dm cube is actually because d is uh, negative one. Negative one multiply three, you get exponent negative three. Ah. Uh. So if the question gives you in liter uh, and you want to change to meter cube, it is exponent uh, negative 3. Uh, or 1 liter is 1 dm cube. Remember like that 1 liter is 1 dm cube, 1 ml is 1 cm cube. Uh, okay, and 1 liter is 1000 ml. Uh, and uh, 1 ml, if 1 ml is 1 cm cube, so how many meter cube? How many meter cube is uh, 1 ml? So we know centi is negative two. Negative two multiply three, negative six. Uh, negative six. Okay. Just remember that our um, volume must be in meter cube. So all must be in SI unit. Meter cube, meter cube. That's the reason we need to know that one liter is one dm cube and one ml is one cm cube for us to change to SI unit meter cube. Understand, class? Okay. Any response? No response. I need some. I need some response. Yeah. Uh, okay. Good. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, good. And how about um, temperature? Temperature must be in Kelvin. Huh? You must change uh, like part pressure in. You give the question give you in atmospheric pressure. You must change to Pascal. That's the reason why uh, you need to know this relationship. Yeah, if the question gives you two atmospheric pressure, then you need to multiply by this one lah, to get Pascal. Because to put in the calculation PV NRT, you must use SI unit only. You must use SI unit only. Huh? Temperature must be in Kelvin. Ah, last time uh, we talked about what formula? We talked about, you know. Uh, Q over 
t equal to negative k a delta t over l and then we this is a thermal conduction thermal conduction and we also talk about thermal extension delta l equal to uh, alpha l naught delta t right class ah uh, so this is about expansion thermal expansion so these two you see here delta t and delta t these two you can either degree celsius or kelvin degree celsius or kelvin because we know that the increase of one degree celsius is equivalent to increase of one kelvin ah uh, that's why for delta if if the question is about delta t which essentially means the what it means by delta t delta t means change of temperature that means you take final temperature minus initial temperature you involve two temperature point yeah initial and final temperature uh, for for delta t you can use degree celsius or kelvin okay uh, because the increase of one degree celsius is increase of one kelvin but for for this equation pv equal to nrt you cannot you cannot put degree celsius you must be in kelvin you must kelvin only ah because why because this only involve one temperature because um let me just put it here okay Yeah. Okay, the, this one must be in Kelvin only. Must be in Kelvin only. Because why? Because uh, the thing here is 1 degree Celsius is not, sorry, is not 1 Kelvin. <laughs> 1 degree Celsius is 1 plus 273, which is, um, which is what? Which is uh, 274 Kelvin. Ah, that's the difference. If change of temperature, the, the, the change of 1 degree Celsius is the same as the change of 1 Kelvin. But for temperature, 1 degree Celsius is not 1 Kelvin. 1 degree Celsius is 274 Kelvin. That's totally different. Uh, 1 degree Celsius is 274 Kelvin. It's not 1 Kelvin. It's 274 Kelvin. Because this one only one temperature. Uh, delta T is two temperature. Yeah. Uh, so that's the difference. Class. So for PV NRT must be in Kelvin only. Yeah. If temperature only, uh, Kelvin. If change of temperature, you can either degree Celsius or Kelvin. Okay, class. Uh, if you don't change to Kelvin uh, like that, uh, you're wrong. Your answer is you'll be you'll get wrong. Okay? So uh temperature must be in Kelvin. So um right over here, right over here. So this temperature um uh so uh what uh, uh zero degree Celsius is equivalent to 273 uh Kelvin. Okay? Uh, Okay, that means you must plus 273 lah. And then, what else? Ah, here you can see R, right? R is actually what we call molar gas constant. It's 8.7, uh, 8.31. Uh, 8.31. So R, uh, also in SI unit. Uh, R, okay. So here, uh, the R, the R here. Uh, also in S. Okay, let me put it this way over here. Maybe just put it here. The R is actually 8.31. Uh, 8.31. And you can see the unit. Joule per Kelvin per mole. Uh, joule. Joule per Kelvin per mole. Ah. Joule per Kelvin per mole. Because why why we can use Joule per why the R is in unit Joule per Kelvin per mole? Uh, because uh, the pressure in 
SI unit or in SI unit. Because all our equation in SI unit, Pascal, meter cube, Kelvin. Uh, so our R also in uh, Joule per Kelvin per mole uh, in SI unit also. You see or not? Uh, in SI unit also. Uh, if you look at chemistry, I'm sure that your R value in your chemistry different from R value in your physics. Your R value in your chemistry is around like 0 0.0831. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, 0, 0.0 something. Because why? Because in your chemistry, you use... Let me, let me tell you the difference. Huh? If in chemistry, uh, your units in your chemistry... Uh, your pressure use MS rate pressure, your volume use dm cube, uh, your temperature, I'm not sure. Yeah, temperature, I'm not sure. Are you use degrees Celsius or Kelvin? I'm not sure. You can check it out. But uh, your R value is uh, at 0 0.0831. Yeah, because why? Because why, why different value? Why your R in chemistry different value from the, the one in physics? Uh, because, because uh, your, you know, because it, all because of the unit. Because your pressure in atmospheric pressure, your volume is in dm cube. Uh, so your unit is not in joule per Kelvin per mole. Uh, your R has different value, a different unit for chemistry. Okay? Uh, so I just want you to be aware of this. Yeah, difference. Uh, physics stick to SI unit. Pascal, meter cube, Kelvin, and R also has a unit in SI unit. Okay. Uh, they have their own reason why they uh, do this. Lah. Okay. So, I um, uh, just want you to be aware of this. R is uh, 8.31. Okay. And then N is number of mole. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh, sorry. This one must be in uh, now in uh, capital letter already. Yeah, pressure. Okay. So and then we have um, yeah. Uh, the temperature can either be two seven three or two seven three point one five. So uh, not rigid. We also accept two seven three point one five. Uh, you you want normally we normally we use we just use the the top one. Okay, we don't, uh, we no need to be so specific. Yeah, you can also, you know, sometimes we also put as 273.15. Either one acceptable. You want to use 273 only or you want to use 273.15, also can. Okay. Okay, now, what, what, uh, okay. Ah, and then number of mole. Okay, I will talk about number of mole later. Um... This one, PV equal to NKT. What is this? PV equal to NKT. Okay. So, we have another formula called PV equal to NKT. Uh, PV equal to NKT. So, uh, why? Uh, so, this... Um, okay, I need to... Maybe I need to write something over here. Um, N is the number of moles. Yeah, capital N is total molecules. Uh, total total gas molecule. Yeah, total gas molecules. Uh, and then we have another one called Na. Ah, uh, yeah, the small n is number of mole, number of mole okay uh, capital N is total gas molecules uh, and A is a uh, number of molecule number of molecules uh, per mole in one mole uh, number of molecules in one mole of gas you know that means if you have one mole of gas how many how many molecules are there uh, okay. Mm. So, class.
for example, that means, for example, that means if I want to get a total gas molecule, I just take the number of mole, uh, multiply by Avogadro constant. Uh, actually, this is uh, Na is called Avogadro. Avogadro constant, which has the value of uh, this. Remember the Avogadro constant value. Uh, Avogadro constant value is 6.02 exponent 24 molecules. 23 or 24? <laughs> Sorry, 23. Sorry, I'm a bit rusty. Eh, my <laughs> uh, 23. Okay, forgive me. So 6.02 exponent 23. Uh, okay, molecules per mole. Do you understand what is this Avogadro constant? Avogadro constant means in one mole of gas, in one mole of gas, it has this amount of gas molecules. A lot, yeah? You got 23 zero. Uh, multiply by 23 zero. Uh. So in one mole of gas, you have this amount of molecules. So let's say I have n moles of gas. Uh, and most of gas, you multiply by the number of gas molecule in one mole, you get the total molecules. You get the total molecules. Understand, class? Uh, okay. Um, let me... Um, okay, let me... Okay, what and, and some other thing. What uh, things do I need to explain some more? Um... Okay, see, these two formula they are equivalent, class. These two formula they are equivalent. One more relationship I want to give you is, ah, since I have two formula here, I have two formula. This is the first formula, this is the second formula. You can get PV and KT from the first formula, class. Yeah, you can get. You know how? Okay, what is K? What is K? What is K value? Let me check the K value. Uh, K value is Boltzmann constant. Ah, just now the R is what? R is called molar gas constant. Ah, okay. All these all these names, yeah, all these names. I just write it down. This R is called molar gas constant. Okay, and then you have another one called K. What is K? Now, what is the value first? What is the value of K? K is 1.38 uh, exponent negative 23. One point, it is 1.38 exponent negative 23. What's a unit? Uh -huh. What's a unit that's important? Uh, also in SI unit. Do you see that? Everything in physics is SI unit. Uh, but chemistry is not in SI unit. I don't know why. Yeah, they have their reasons lah. Because maybe to they have quantity that they need to measure in ATM and DM cube. They have their reasons. But physics, bear in mind, all in SI unit. Yeah, we never use pressure in atmospheric pressure or DM cube. We must change everything to Pascal, meter cube. Kelvin, so that it follows your molar gas constant R, also all in SI unit, Joe per Kelvin per mole, your, what is this K? K is called what? Boltzmann constant, uh, write it down, Boltzmann constant, Boltzmann constant, uh, your Boltzmann constant also in SI unit, Joe per Kelvin, everything in SI unit. So your formula all must be all must be in SI unit. Yeah, every pressure, volume, temperature, R, K, all must be in SI unit. Yeah. Your pressure, volume, temperature must be in SI unit because your K is in SI unit. Understand? If you don't change to SI unit and you substitute into the formula, then you get wrong answer. Uh, okay? Uh, so your K value is 1.38 exponent negative 23. Okay, class. Uh, still remember, you see this one, K also used in this chapter, you see? 
K also used in this chapter. How many times we see K already? How many times we see K already? We see K in thermal conductivity, right? Plus, we, 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 this is, uh, K we see in the thermal, as thermal, thermal conductivity. We also see K in which chapter? In, uh, force constant, right? F equal to KX. Hooke's law. Remember, class? Hooke's law? Hooke's law? Uh, this is, this K over here is called what? Force constant. Ah, uh, force constant. And what, where else do we see? Uh, right now we see K as uh, Boltzmann constant, uh, which is PV to NKT. All use the same sim same symbol, K. But they all have different meaning. Boltzmann constant, uh, 1.38 exponent negative 23. Uh, here, K is thermal conductivity. How, how good is the con heat conductor? And then force constant, how rigid is the material? You know, force constant is how rigid is the material. Hooke's law. Uh, so K actually used in different contexts and different meaning. So don't mix up. Eh? Don't mix up. Okay, so you got it. Okay, right now, how to change the PV NRT into PV NKT? Uh, very easy. I want to give you one relationship between R and K. Uh, these two, between R and K. So, remember this class, remember. Uh, a tips from Mr. Peck. R is equal to K and A. Ah, you don't believe me? You don't believe me? Try, try to multiply. Yeah, try to multiply class. K, what value class? 1.38 exponent negative 23. Uh, you multiply by Avogadro constant and A, Avogadro constant. What do you get? Avogadro constant. 6.02 exponent 23. Six, yeah, multiply. Multiply lah. Yeah. 6.02 Tell me what do you get class? Tell me what do you get? Tell me what do you get? Huh? Tell me what do you get? This one cancel. Uh, what do you get class? Tell me. Anybody? Tell me. Do you write something? Huh? Uh, what do you get class? Tell me, tell me. 21. Ah, see that? You get what? You get 8.31. Okay? Ah, ada tembelang saya? <laughs> okay. Alright. Okay, so 8.31. Yes, R is K and A. Ah, R is K and A. Ah, R is K and A. So, okay. So that means, that means what? Okay, that means these two formula. Okay, let me just write it down over here. Write, write it down over here. So, P, just now P, start with PV equal to NRT. Uh, sorry, what is this? PV equal to NR, NRT. Okay, we know that R is, what? R is again, what? K and A, right? Uh, so, Multiply uh, K and A. Yeah, K and A. Yeah, lah. R is K and A, run. Uh, so this, uh, just now R is K and A. Uh, so N multiply N A, what do you get, class? Menabuh, more multiply Avogadro constant, you get what, class? Total molecules. See that? Uh, PV equal to NKT. Ah, that's it. Ah. So these two formula is the same. PV NRT and PV with NKT is the same. It's the same. It's just that uh, different question, you use different uh, equation. Uh, if the question gives you number of mole, if the question gives you the value of number of mole, uh, then you use PV with the NRT. If the question gives you uh, 
the total gas molecules, uh, you then you use P to NKT. Uh, uh, some, so you use sometimes you use R or sometimes you use K. Uh, if R is 8.31, if K is 1.38 exponent negative 23. Uh, uh, that's it lah. That's it. Plus. I think uh, I think that's it for today, lah. Yeah, because uh, I have meeting. Yeah, let me see what else I can teach. Um, I don't think I can teach much. Um, yeah. I think that's it first. Uh, following is uh assumption of kinetic theory of gases. Uh, this uh, root mean square root mean square speed. Uh, all all very simple, lah. Yeah, I can teach in the class. Yeah, later on. Okay, class. So I think that's it first for introduction to chapter nine. Yeah. So uh, happy to see you all of you again. Yeah. Um. Uh. So can't wait to see you in the class. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So sorry for past uh, few past few days. I'm away. Yeah. Not here. Not around. Uh. No choice. Yeah. So, uh, see you in the class again lah. Because at 2 o'clock, I need to rush back to college. I have meetings, yeah, at 2 o'clock. So, I cannot be late lah. Okay. So, thank you. Okay, see you again. I will post this video in YouTube. Yeah. I'll post this video in the YouTube. Uh, so, I can, um, yeah, take uh, this, uh, take a picture, uh, you know. I uh, just, um, yeah, okay, uh, so, yeah, this one I will put it in the Telegram group, yeah, okay, see you again, class, thank you very much, and see you in the class later, bye. Yes, sir.